the teacher tells her class, today we're going to learn about complementary angles. Student raises her hand and says, does that mean the angles are nice to each other? Well, I don't know about complementary angles being nice to each other, but I will say this. If you put two complementary angles together, they will always make things right. Get it? So we're going to be talking in this part about adjacent and complementary angles. Now, adjacent angles actually encompasses a couple of different types, as you can see from my picture here. They don't have to be complementary. There are other types of adjacent angles. They're basically two angles that share a common vertex, there's a vertex, and a common ray, but no interior points. They're kind of like two angles that are just touching each other. So if I was to name two adjacent angles here, on this set here, I would say one and two are adjacent and angle 3 and angle 4 are also adjacent. Usually we use the angle addition postulate to create equations with adjacent angles and you're going to see that a lot in today's lesson. So what are complementary angles? You see two complementary angles always make things right. Okay, couldn't resist. Two angles that form a right angle. That's why I said they always make things right. So to set up an equation, you add the two angles and set it equal to 90 degrees. So you would have this angle plus that angle, the two acute angles there, make the right angle. It equals 90. So let's look at our example. Angle AOC is a right angle and we want to find angle COD. Well, I know it's a right angle so I should just put the two angles together and add them. So there they are, 3a plus 5 plus a plus 9 equals 90 degrees. That's from the angle addition postulate. Part plus part equals whole. Then I combine my like terms and I get 4a plus 14 equals 90. Then subtract 14 from both sides from the subtraction property of equality. And I get 4a equals 76. Now I can divide both sides by the same number by the division property of equality and I get A is 19. Now did I find what I was looking for? Well if you look here I'm trying to find angle COD. So I need to go ahead, this is what was given to me, angle COD is A plus 9. And then I substitute in 19 for A and I get 28 degrees. So angle COD is 28 degrees. Here's another example. An angle is 10 times more than 3 times the measure of its complement. Find the measure of its complement. So uh, in this problem, the complement, yeah, I'm saying an angle is 10 times more than 3 times the measure of its complement. Just to keep things simpler, I'm going to go ahead and say the complement's a smaller angle and I'm just going to put it right there and I'm going to call it X because I'm comparing the one angle to the complement. So it's going to be 10 plus 3 X's. Now since I know they're complements that tells me they add up to 90 so I set up an equation 10 X plus 3 X plus X equals 90. That's the angle addition postulate. Then I combine like terms Subtract 10 from both sides by the subtraction property of equality. Means I can subtract from both, same thing from both sides. 4x is 80. Divide both sides by 4 by the division property of equality. And I get x is 20. Well, that is the complement. I was just looking for this angle right here because this one is 10 more than 3 times the measure of the complement. That is the complement and that's what I'm looking for. So as further reflection on this section of your notes, what is an adjacent angle? Remember, it's not just complementary angles. It's the others that we'll be talking about too. Linear pairs is an example. How do you set up an equation for complementary angles? Do you remember? So angle addition postulate, add the two pieces and set it equal to 90.